the Asha Fox good to see you. Good to see you too, Dibal. Um, about indiscipline in school, the Chief Justice Matakome has said that um, parents who go to court to sue schools over their children's uh, indiscipline, or rather after their children have been punished over indiscipline, will not um, have a case. The cases will be dismissed. And yeah, so this is just on the backing of um, a lot of indiscipline in schools. We've seen um, students being expelled. We've seen some areas where, you know, there's even corporal punishment and teachers are trying um, to discipline the students while, while in school. Uh, the CJ has said that, you know, parents should take up the responsibility to raise their children, um, you know, in make them morally upright and take care of them uh, in such a manner that such um, discipline does not have to lie um, with the teachers in school. And yeah, so she didn't specify on what exactly discipline entails, and this is something guys have been talking about on social media, you know, that I hope this is not a um, way to bring back corporal punishment. Uh, there has to be limits when it comes to um, discipline in school with the teachers as well. And yeah, there's been a debate about that. Remember last year as well, the interior CS Fred Matiangi, as well as the education CS George McGoha had mentioned that um, it might be time to bring back corporal punishment um, in schools just to deal with the increasing number of unrest in schools and in discipline that's there. So these are things that are being looked at and it's, it's something that there's a 50-50 debate on this whether, you know, um, should, should uh, the discipline role lie with the teachers, should it lie with the parents and how far do you go even in matters discipline in schools? All right, uh, we can see also Mike Sonko is uh, back uh, in the limelight. We know that particular beat of his uh, for gubernatorial city in Mombasa is now teetering on the edge there of a cliff. We don't know what really pan out. IBC has made its pronouncement that uh, they will not really allow any candidates who have been impeached to be running for any seat, uh, any elective seats, uh, come August 9th. And there is a woman also that has gone to court right now that uh, she's seeking... Uh, you know, uh, child upkeep that is uh, to the tune of 450,000. People are asking, why now? Where have you been? 15 years, you have a, I don't know if it's a, it's a son or a daughter, you can actually prime us on that. But uh, they're wondering, is it politically instigated? Why now? Um, yeah, so same thing. Kenyans are wondering why now as well. But um, apparently he has been providing, it's just been an issue of you know, probably not enough or or um, not to the full extent or not in the way that is expected. Of course, the child's identity is hidden in this situation because we have to protect the child's right. And, um, you know, so she is, she is talking about school fees as well. The, the child has been out of school since um, April and has not been able to go back to school when children reopen because there's a pending fee balance that has to be paid. Um, you know, just general upkeep matters. You have uh, clothing, um, food, um, healthcare, all these other things that children need to be able to, you know, grow up and, and, and live well. Those are the things that um, she's suing for. And this has also, you know, so called stipend? Yes, this is a monthly stipend okay. of 450,000 um, shillings. They're about it's four, 448, almost 450, mm -hmm. rounded up, yeah. And, um, you know, just there's been a lot of talk around this. Of course, Sonko is saying that, you know, this could be a blackmail strategy um, on, on his end. And said it's not that the, he's going to take this to court and he's not going to, um, she's not going to get any penny from her. And uh, we've seen such cases on the rise. I think it's a it's, um, moment where Kenyans are just highlighting, you know, there's, there's uh, the blackmail factor, there's the cost of living has gone up. A uh, number of times we discussed on this show about, you know, the rising cost of li living, um, food prices have gone up, fuel prices have gone up, and all these affects, you know, a lot. And um, in court as well, um, the cases have really, really been on the rise. Uh, for example, in 2019, 1,745 cases, um, you know, were filed on uh, child support, child upkeep. In 2018, we had 1,572 cases, and these have been on the rise year in, year out. And this is also being blamed sort of on the, you know, cost of living. And we've also had laws as well that have come up and some have been amended. Like last year, we had the law on child welfare that was, you know, amended to make sure that there's 50-50 uh, parental care and parental responsibility when it comes to children. This is just, you know, um, to make sure that there's fairness when it comes to a bring, a bringing of um, a child. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Asha Fox and, uh, you know, I, I can send some uh, song colleagues loading up on this as well. 
So I know he won't just take it uh, down uh, uh, effortlessly. He'll have to push back a bit.